Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to go about selecting your research paper topic. I'm going to begin by showing you a quick little PowerPoint about going through the process. So let's look at the PowerPoint. How to select a research paper topic. First, I think you should really talk to your professor or look at your, your guidelines and your syllabus to find out exactly what is expected in your, in your assignment. Um, this should also include information about what type of uh, APA style you're going to use. Are you going to use APA 6 or APA 7? Um, you should also explore, are you looking at looking a uh, concept? Are you trying to answer a question? Are you trying to make an argument or persuade the reader? Make a list of possible issues to research. Use ideas from classroom discussions. Uh, take notes whenever there's classroom discussions. Uh, look at your textbook readings, particular chapters. You might have subheadings in a chapter that uh, has a particular topic that you're very interested in. Or what about your personal interests and how they may overlap with uh, some of the subheadings in the textbook? I have discussions with your teacher about various topics of, of interest and even write down your ideas uh, as you go along. Keep notes, keep a record. So right now at this phase, this is not the time where you want to do a lot of really in-depth reading, like reading a journal article all the way through or reading through books. You, know, you don't have the time for that and you really just need to do quick scans to find if something's going to be relevant to you or not. Uh, again, going back to like the key headings in textbooks, the key headings in journal articles, see what they are saying. If there's something that looks like it's relevant to what your topic is, explore it a little further. Um, Skim the table of contents of journal article of, of, of just entire journals to see what articles are in that journal and see if one might be in, of interest to your topic. Do a general search in databases to find out what is being said about a particular topic. For example, I'm going to escape out of here for a second and let's go and take a look at the Bracket Library page. Hang on, let's go there. I'm going to go over to Bracket Library. Up right here. You go to Bracket Library and you just go to the power search and you want to do a keyword search. Let's say that you were interested in the topic of bibliotherapy. You wanted to find out more about it. Well, let's do a search. And I'm hoping, there we go. Bibliotherapy, start your research here. So you could click on this. And this is gonna open up and give you basically an encyclopedic type overview of the concept of bibliotherapy. Gives you the background on it and what's what it's used for but even better is if you scroll down and you'll see the bibliography that will list some journal articles that like for example bibliotherapy american library association has got an article here from 2013. there are other articles in here that are 2010 2007. you can click on any of these journal articles and they're going to take you to that if you open them up into a database, they will take you and you can look at their bibliographies and they can get you can get more sources from the bibliography, such as I've used in this particular right, particular paper I've been doing some research in. Um, I've looked at the references and then I would go through and highlight on here what references are int of an interest to me. And then I would go and try to seek those out to use those in a paper. So even the power search from the library databases can be very helpful for you in this particular matter. So let's go to the next slide. Invent questions. Do two things you find offer interesting contrasts? Does one thing seem uniquely connected to another? 
Is there something about a topic that surprises you or interests you? Do you encounter anything that makes you wonder why? Do you find something that makes you think that can't be right? So those are areas that might be something worth uh, that would be interesting to check out in more detail. Once you've decided on a topic, you need to sit back and think about what do you already know about the topic? You might not know anything about it, and that's fine. You know, what don't you know about it? What do you feel like you might need to know in order to write a paper about it? What are the fundamental facts and background uh, on your topic? What are the different viewpoints that are out there which you can gather from doing a quick uh, search into a database like we just did looking at power search and they can it, it's give you an encyclopedic overview and it will also tell you about whether there's differing viewpoints on it or there's controversy. Whatever you pick, you should make sure that you pick a topic that you're interested in. If it's a topic that you're not interested then you're not going to do well and I for that in researching that particular topic. When you're researching, you're not looking for that one particular uh, perfect source that's going to have all the, the answers to your paper that you're wanting. You're basically do, uh, doing research that is gathering a, and collecting, thinking critically about ideas to form a focus for your own research. Keep a research log. This is a tool designed to be used from the beginning of your research. Uh, and it will help you keep track and think about your research. Keep track of where you've searched. Write down titles of books, journals, databases. Keep track of the words and subjects you've used in your searches. What worked, what didn't work. Keep track of the sources you find. Think about what makes a source useful and how you might use it in the project. Always keep notes. Keep your research focused. So think from periodically, go back and look, what have you found so far? How does the information and ideas you found fit together? What themes have emerged? What important questions do you want to develop from the ideas and information you have found? What do you want to explore in more detail? Think about what you'd like your research to focus on, but always keep focused. Another question that might come up is, how do I know if my topic is sustainable? How do I know if there's going to be enough information out there about my topic? Or is there too much information? So you want to make sure that you're not trying to answer too many questions. Think about the time you have available and also many research papers that you're going to write might not be more than 10, 15, 20 pages at the maximum. You'll want to focus on one or two specific aspects of your topic, preferably just one. You will not really know if your topic will work until you start the research project the process and look for information. Uh, it's the information that you find, or if you don't find it during your background searches, which give you an idea of whether or not the topic is sustainable. Now, what I mean by sustainable is, basically, is the topic too broad or too narrow? Test your topic in several databases by searching for keywords or subjects. If you're finding too much information, perhaps the topic is too broad, are too general and needs to be more narrow. Maybe add a few more search terms and uh, to your searches and then explore. Are you finding too little information? Perhaps your topic is too narrow or too specific. Try again using broader synonyms for your research terms. Um, basically, it's I've had students that have come to me and they'll say, I want to do research and some area and I'll say, well, what interests you? And I had a student one time say that they were interested in viruses and writing a paper on viruses. Um, viruses, very broad, it's encyclopedic. I mean, there's volumes and volumes written about viruses. And of course, that would be a case where you really need to narrow it down a little bit. So I always talk about the research funnel 
where I say it's like the top of the funnel is very wide. And as you narrow it down, you start to get into the good literature, good research topic. And if you go too far, you'll get down to where you have no sources or no information, and that's too narrow of a topic. So always keep that in mind when you're looking at research. Is my topic too narrow, too broad? You'll find out when you do the research on that. And that concludes today's video about how to select a research paper topic. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and the semester is going well for you. Have a wonderful day today.